Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Tambulkar. In this video, we will see one important concept in programming languages that is type conversion. So type means it is a data type. So all variables in programming languages, they have some type. So that is a data type. And conversion means we are converting from one data type to another data type. So that is a conversion. So simple example that I will give. Suppose we have integer a then uh, suppose we have another float value b and in that suppose we are saving some value and now suppose i am making a is equal to b so that is value of b is saved to value of a but b is a float and a is an integer so b have 3.14 so that 3.14 will get converted to integer type so that is called as a type conversion when we are converting from one type to another type that is called as type conversion now see there are two type uh, there are two types of type conversions are there one is narrowing conversion and another is a widening conversion so from name only you will come to know what do my narrowing and widening conversion so see every data type it has some memory so uh, for example integer 2 bytes we allocate float uh, 4 bytes we allocate double we have 8 bytes something like that so uh, they have some bytes memory that we allocate and accordingly whatever the memory that we allocate to the uh, these variables so accordingly it has the range means some uh, its uh, variables can have value in some range now see narrowing conversion means when we are converting float data type to integer data type so float has higher range higher memory and when you are converting to the integer so integer has smaller range compared to the float and smaller memory so whenever we are converting from higher memory to lower memory higher range to lower range it is called as narrowing conversion but there is a side effect of this or disadvantage of this values get reduced for example here so float b is equal to 3.14 but as we are converting to integer now a will have only 3 so value of a will be 3 as it is getting converted to integer so this uh, decimal part or real part will get terminated will get removed from this so value will get decremented value get reduced so value of a will be 3 only so this is the disadvantage of narrowing conversion now another is widening conversion so from name only you will come to know widening in the sense converting from one data type to another data type where this has a smaller range and when we are converting to another data type it has a higher range or it has a smaller memory and when we are converting it it has a higher memory so smaller memory to higher memory smaller range to higher range so if such kind of conversion is there so this is called as a widening conversion and advantage of widening conversion is there is no loss of value so in narrowing conversion there is a loss of value that example we have seen but there is no loss of any value in widening conversion so anyhow uh, it has a smaller memory and destination type has a higher memory so there is no loss of uh, memory or uh, there is no loss of value in widening conversion so in this way uh, type conversion uh, type conversion is converting one type to another type and there are two types one is a narrowing conversion and another is a widening conversion so friends, I hope you like this video. If yes, then click on like, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.